<clears throat> All right, good morning, everybody. I uh, wanted to show you a new product here in ECW um, that we've added called Intelligent Medical Object, which is an ICD-9 search functionality. So as you go to your assessment um, for the day, um, you uh, are probably going to see a screen that looks like your normal assessment screen. You now have an option right here to click Smart Search. And once you do that, then it, it activates the program for you. And now you have this new search looking field um, where you can um, find ICD-9s based on um, either abbreviations or uh, even just the first letters of the word you're looking for, um, what have you. So you can type things um, that just come out as lay terms um, and it pulls up um, different assessments for you that you can use. Um, you can also just type the first part of the words you're looking for, like lactose intolerance, and it finds lactose intolerance by just typing LAC space INT. Um, you can just type uh, abbreviations. Um, things like hypertension um, will be found. Um, anyway, play around with what abbreviations and things you can find. Um, STI is another example they gave. You can find... Um, and so there's just a lot of different ways to find the exact code you're looking for at a much faster rate. Um, I had a patient with some dermatitis last week. We thought it was a poison ivy. So the again, I just had poison. I just had ivy, and I find poison ivy dermatitis. Could not find that ICD-9 code to that point. So I started searching. You could find, you know, poison sumac dermatitis. There's just numerous ways that you can find um, the ICDs that you're searching for, which I think is a huge increase. Uh, should be a huge help for you finding um, uh, your assessments, finishing your visits and your notes. A um, couple of the places you can access this um, are if you are, for example, on your even your billing screen, um, getting ready to finalize the visit and you realize you wanted to add an assessment, um, you have this Add button right here. Um, that Add button's always been there, but now it takes you to the IMO search. Um, and so you can type in a um, another... Um, um, another one, uh, and you could find, so first trimester bleeding, I just typed first trimester and bleed the BL and it found it for me. Um, so there's uh, different ways you can add that way. Um, you can even misspell things, so I can type heart attack like that. Um, and you notice it gives me suggestions down here, but it also still pulled up um, just heart attack, um, history of heart attack. Um, and so anyway, you can uh, misspell and still find things like that, but it still tries to find it for you. Again, you can still option access their problems in the previous assessments here as well um, to add to your visit for the day. So I think a huge improvement um, in, in finishing up your, your visits. Um, a couple other places you can access it are, um, for example, your right chart panel. Um, if you want to add an assessment to their problem list, if you're reviewing a document or reviewing a lab or something like that, you can get to their right chart panel from that document or lab. And then from here, you can um, click Add, and you've got, again, the same functionality to find um, the uh, code you're looking for. Um, so just type nasal FX, and I find nasal fracture here. Um, so uh, again, a lot of the um, codes that you're going to have a hard time kind of finding through Google and and the like are going to be found much, much easier here. Um, and so now I've added that to this patient's problem list here with that information. Um, also from a telephone encounter. So if we open a new telephone encounter on this patient, or let's just say that you're dealing with a telephone encounter on this patient, um, from the virtual visit screen, again, it's going to work just like a progress on as I click assessment. I'm going to have that ability to add um, a, an ICD-9 search um, feature here that will be much better. So um, anyway, a lot, a lot of improvement I think in finding ICDs. Any questions? Let us know. If you're getting an error message, um, be patient. Uh, let us know. But we think we've got all those worked out, and it should be live and working well. So thanks. Uh, any questions? Let us know. Bye bye.